Lift off. Release. Vehicles cleared the tower. Now beginning the pitch over maneuver. Body rate responses look good. Seeing good engine operating parameters on the RD-180 engine. Now passing 15 seconds. Atlas propellant utilization system is going to closed loop control. System response looks good. Now 25 seconds into flight. Chamber pressure on the SRV looks good. Engine operating parameters on the RD-180 also look good. And at 35 seconds in, vehicle is completing the pitch over maneuver. Now 41 seconds into flight. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected. Engine, re engine response looks good. And vehicle's now passing Mach 1. Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Vehicle's now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. RD-180 continues to look good. Pump speeds and injector pressures look good. SRV chamber pressure also looks good. Vehicle's throttle back up to full thrust as expected. And standing by for SRB burnout. And we have burnout on the solid rocket booster. Atlas will hold on to the SRB for an additional 47 seconds prior to jettison. Now 1 minute 45 seconds into flight. RD-180 continues to perform well at full thrust. Pump speeds and injector pressures look good. And now coming up on two minutes into flight, the Atlas V vehicle now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response continues to look good. And standing by for SRV jettison shortly. And we have good indication of jettison of the solid rocket booster. Atlas V has gone to Q-Alpha Limited closed-loop steering. Vehicle body rates look good. The launch of Solar Orbiter, ESA's mission to face the sun. And you just saw what a spectacular launch. We're going to stay with it as much as we can.